Yo. I think I just broke my chair. Oh, well. We got breaking news. We got breaking news. The Chicago Bears have traded for Montez Sweat. Let's get into the intro. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. Only channel talk Chicago sports, how Chicago talk. So make sure that you get in tune with us. The Chicago Bears per Ian Rappaport and Adam Schefter at this point. Everybody's got it now. Have traded for Montez Sweat. This is huge because uh, a lot of question marks were coming from uh, whether they were going to go get Chase Young or whether they were going to get Montez Sweat and which one had the better value. Personally, for me, I thought Montez Sweat was the safer option because of not having the injury issues. But on the flip side of that, right, you do miss out on Chase Young, who to me has a higher upside. Now, what are the Chicago Bears sending back in compensation? They are sending a 2024 second round pick. Uh, Montez Sweat is in the last uh, year of his contract, and the commanders are opting for a draft pick now. Chicago Bears now beef up this defensive line, which comes at an interesting time with the Jalen Johnson news, right? Because what we're hearing around the NFL right now is that Jalen Johnson's asking price is astronomical. So he's basically going around looking for these trades and telling people what his price is. If you trade for me, if that price doesn't come in, does Jalen Johnson now opt to stay here in Chicago because you're going to have more of a pass rush now having Yannick Ngakwe, now having Montez Sweat. I think the Chicago Bears are in a really, really good position here to get some things done. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. What does this add to this team? I mean, Listen, uh, Montez Sweat, as a player, I mean, we, we kind of already know, you know, what he brings as far as pressure. Uh, and the Chicago Bears have needed pressure, but already on the season, this young man has six and a half sacks. He is the definition of pressure. Now, he's on a much better defensive line, but my biggest question mark with not having multiple guys on, on the defensive line is, <laughs> that could bring pressure from the end was, well, now you're in a position where you don't have pieces on this team that are helping your young pieces along that you drafted. Now, this is going to be able to go out there and help Jervon Dexter, help Zach Pickens to be able to get to the quarterback more because more teams have to focus on what's going on with Yannick, what's going on with Montez. There will be more pressure on the quarterback. That could absolutely put the Chicago Bears in a position to go out there and and uh, finally be able to get more sacks from the middle as well because people's focus will be elsewhere. Now, is it worth the draft compensation? That is the major question that is out there right now. A second round pick for Montez Sweat. And Ryan, Ryan Poles has not had uh, a good success with second round picks at this point, right? But Montez Sweat seems like a pretty surefire thing. And on top of that, right, I know a lot of Bears fans are sitting here having a conversation on, well, you know, why would you go out there and want to be buyers at this point? This was not a season to tank. This was not a season where you were trying to uh, uh, give everything up. The Bears are trying to fix things. And Montez Sweat, only 27 years old, still has some long-term life in those legs. I mean, like, you're talking about four or five years, if he's able to stay healthy, of a pretty dominant player. If you're wondering how dominant, he's got 35 and a half sacks already in his five-year-long career. So that tells you that this young man can go out there and get the job done. He's going to be a nice addition to this Bears team. Let me know how you guys feel in in the comments below on Montez Sweat. Now let's talk about the flip side of this, right? Because there's a lot of people out here now. Josina Anderson has reported on this. Greg Gabriel has reported on this as well, talking about the Jalen Johnson contract situation and him requesting a trade out of Chicago. Um, and what they're saying right now, both sides are pretty much saying this as well, is that as Jalen Johnson is going around to other teams and he's offering, you know, would you want to trade for me? This is kind of where they're at right now. We're very far apart on the contract. Other teams 
have looked at him. And, and Josina Anderson talked about the Cowboys specifically and said that cornerback Jalen Johnson is wrong for the Cowboys at the price that he's asking for. So now the question mark pops up. What is the price that he is asking for? Uh, Greg Gabriel also talked about, he said he'd been told in the last 45 minutes by an uninvolved third party. The word around the league is that Johnson's asking price is way out of line. This person is very well connected. So he trusts the info. Now, I don't know, right? Like when you see things like that, sometimes the info is is good. Sometimes it isn't. But when you're seeing it from multiple sources, I think that there's a pretty good shot that Jalen Johnson is talking about top DB money, right? And I said this at the beginning. I think that Jalen Johnson is elite at everything else except takeaways. Yes, he got two takeaways. Maybe he's trying to capitalize on the value that he has. Maybe now with Montez Sweat, he says, well, now I can be this level of DB. But you haven't seen that from Jalen Johnson. And you pay top DB money for guys that come away with interceptions. Jalen Johnson just has not come away with interceptions. And yes, the the two against the uh, Brian Hoyer and Aiden Collins, I love the fact that he was able to get those and put the money in the air. I love that. But now we're seeing that the asking price that he's looking for is not there is he going to want to stick around with the Chicago Bears team is my question to you let me know in the comments below because now with Jalen Johnson having a little bit more of a pass rush in front of him not that listen you still need your three technique you still need your nose tackle those are both things that you still have to get done in this defense. But now possibly you look at a guy with Yannick and with Montez Sweat on each side and you say, okay, well, now the young guys can kind of get in the middle here. Maybe they can make something happen. Justin Jones' life is made a lot easier. Andrew Billings has been pretty much our best defensive lineman to this point on the season. What is this going to do for the Bears long term here? Yeah, I mean, like maybe now you see Jalen Johnson kind of come to the realization the teams around the league look at him and as not as the DB that he sees himself, which is tough, right? That's just, that's a tough realization to have. I feel like Jalen Johnson, of course, is an excellent cornerback, and I would love to have Jalen Johnson here. But uh, listen, when when I look at this, uh, uh, um, when I look at this Bears defense right now, uh, my biggest question is, is Jalen Johnson the best DB on your team in five years? Because you're going to be giving him a long-term deal to stick around here probably till age 28, 29 season, somewhere in there, right? Like, is he going to be the best DB on your team? Because right now, I feel like the gap between him and Tyreek Stevenson, even though Tyreek, uh, uh, um, a ton of penalties, ton of penalties. But I do feel like it's closing very quickly. I like what I see from Tyreek in PBU numbers. I would like to see him tackle a little bit better. That'd be great. But I like what I see from Tyreek as far as coverage right now. I think that he's done a he, he's improved uh, uh, throughout the season, and this is his rookie year. How much is he going to improve as the season goes on? Terrell Smith was also a really good player for the Chicago Bears before he end up catching mono we got to get mono out of the locker room what the heck's going on with mono bro but all that to say right like i see other dbs that could surpass jalen johnson at some point and that is why the question mark right now to me is you know what is the big what is the price that jalen johnson is asking for what kind of money is he looking for as far as being a you know a top paid db in this nfl i i'm willing to give you xavion howard money i am i'm willing to pay you xavion howard money i'm not willing to give you jair alexander money and that's kind of what it comes down to. But, hey, I want to know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. As always, man, it's your boy, Pat the Designer. Back at it again. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Burn on. Let me know how y'all feeling about these trades. Peace.